Hey, good morning. This is Ray over here at Namrat Farms. It's fantastic Friday, another beautiful day, a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to start out today by thanking uh, Angela and her daughter Aaliyah for allowing me to share with you the story of Blossom the Crippled Lamb this week. Uh, I asked their permission because I felt there was so much power in this story. And today I want to want to wrap up the story uh, as I was told it, as it came to me. Uh, back on March 16th, now remember, this little lamb was born in February, on February 10th. February 14th, on Valentine's Day, Aaliyah adopts this lamb, raises this lamb, pours her heart into this lamb. Despite all the people told her, you shouldn't do this. This would be a waste of your time. It's, it's never going to work. Well, this lamb was getting so healthy. Uh, the, the videos that are on her Facebook page, which I have put a link to today, show this lamb just running and playing with this little harness on and, and this little girl who is loving her. And on March 16th, literally 15 days ago, uh, they took her in to the vet and the vet was amazed at how good this little lamb with spinal bifida was doing. And so the, the vet did his work and, and the vet gave Blossom a little shot sent a little syringe home, says give the rest of it, this to her later. And they came home that day and the healthy lamb suddenly died. Gone from being perfectly fine to there, not being able to breathe and to passing away. And you can imagine the brokenness that set in over this family. The fact that the story, as it was being told to me, the question I was asked is they were wondering, God, how could you let this happen? She was doing so well. The mother looked up on this little syringe to find out what it was that had been given to her and realized it was for something that the lamb didn't even have. And she had been given more than double the dose for a lamb her size. In other words, the vet made a mistake. Can you imagine the anger, the frustration, the bitterness that could set in from that. And yes, the tears that flow. The hurt in the heart. And the question they asked me was, Ray, what do we get from this? Now that's a hard question for me to answer. But I, I knew that the Holy Spirit was saying this for certain. Number one, you must forgive that gentleman. You've got to go to the vet and you say, I forgive you for taking from me something that was so dear, so precious. See, it's the same question I asked God when Precious died. Why? Why would you let this happen? See, there's always more to the story and Blossom has given us so much more through her death. We have been talking for so long about, about the aches and the pains and the hurts that have been caused to us by other people. We saw it through the life of Precious, the rejected lamb. Now we see it through the life of Blossom, the crippled lamb. We see ache, we see pain, we see anger, we see frustration. But as, as the message was received back to Angela and Aaliyah, they sent me a picture back the very same day because their father, Aaliyah's father, Angela's husband, had purchased little pendants to go on a neck with a sheep. And on the pendant, it said, Forgiveness heals and renews. Today, I want to tell you, the Good Shepherd is telling us, do you want to enjoy a relationship with me? Do you want to enjoy this love that I have to pour out upon you? Then you, just as I forgave you, for putting me on the cross, for sacrificing me as the Lamb of God, for taking my life, just as I endured the curse of my Father on your behalf. And I said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. You too. You must look at the person who has caused you bitterness and anger and pain and frustration. You must look at that person. And as hard as it is, you're going to have to say, Father, forgive them. I forgive you. Because when you forgive, there is healing and there is renewing. There is restoration and there is power to lead you into a relationship 
of enjoyment with the one you really want to enjoy. That person that's hurt you, that person has caused you pain, they are not the ones who are supposed to be holding power over you. No, that is only in the hands of the good shepherd. Leave that in his hands. Trust him to deal with them as he should. In fact, ask him to lead them into a place that they get to enjoy the shepherd. Go beyond just forgiving them. Beg the Holy Spirit to soften their heart and to lead them into a relationship. Yes, it will hurt. Yes, it will be hard. I'm not going to try to make this easy, but there's power in forgiveness. And I want to tell you today that your good shepherd, he hung on a cross and cried out on your behalf, Father, forgive her, forgive him. They don't know what they're doing. And today, he is giving you the power. He is giving you the strength. Just as Aaliyah had to do with this veterinarian who took blossom from her. To say, Father, forgive them. And when you do that, the healing and restoration really take place. Today, I encourage you, go forgive. So that you may go enjoy the shepherd. I'll see you soon. <laughs>